Hey, it's iPhone coding. Okay, so today we're gonna get back to the Objective C tutorials. Um, continuing, if you haven't seen the first one, I definitely recommend that you do watch it. Uh, it's just basically uh, a 10 minute slideshow um, presenting you the basic ideas of the Objective C language, the tools that you'll need to get coding, and um, basically what you'll need to follow along with me. So. Um, definitely check it out. So let's get right to it. Um, go to Xcode and uh, open up the project window by selecting File, New Project. One second, my Xcode is just loading. You can get rid of the screen and go to File, New Project. And we're going to select a command line utility underneath the Mac OS X category and we're going to select a foundation tool and click choose. Uh, call it hello world because in the tutorial previous to this one um, we basically showed you what the hello world would look like uh, in a slideshow but let's show you what it looks like on the actual screen um, and let's click save you can save yours to wherever you want I save mine to the desktop um, Usually I like to expand my window to give myself a little bit more space. And now, this actual project doesn't require us to do any coding. It's automatically going to display Hello World to the console. And that's because Apple's provided a little bit of help for us to get started. And uh, they did that by actually including the hello world in our program and showing us where to basically type in our main function automatically. So if you take a quick glance at it, you can notice a few similarities to our C programs and our other, other tutorials. You can notice that um, the impound import is similar to the pound include in C, except this is importing the foundation library and not the standard input output library. Um, and here you notice that it starts with int main, which is the basic same uh, data type that we use to return for our main function in C, except this main function takes parameters. In C, our main function doesn't take any parameters. Um, we'll talk about these parameters at another time, as well as this NS auto release pool line here, so don't worry about them for now. But notice how Apple included the slash slash insert code here. Um, comment. This is basically allowing you to write any statement that you'd like and basically I'll put it to the console if you would want using the nslog statement here. And nslog is basically the equivalent to printf in C. So the only difference between the two is that here you have to use a at sign to show that you are going to display a string in Objective C. So Basically, all you need to do is hit build and go. Now, nothing is going to happen, nothing is going to appear, but you will see this clock at the bottom go around in a circle, and then it's going to say succeeded. This is to show that our program did execute, and if you do tap it, it will say build succeeded. And if you look down, it says debugging of hello world has ended normally. And you know this because the program has returned zero. And you can check it and you can actually see the hello world statement print to the screen to the screen just like we would in our terminal in C by clicking run console. And there you go. There's the hello world with the exclamation point. And the debugger has exited with status zero to show that our program has exited with no errors. So that's all I basically wanted to show for today. Uh, don't worry about the pool drain statement here. We're not going to talk about it now, but let's notice the return zero, which is the exact same in our C, um, which basically also means return that the program uh, actually works successfully. So just to give you a brush up on the Xcode environment, notice that we have the groups and files pane. We have um, the basic file uh, <laughs> pane up here, I guess you can call it, that actually shows all the files that you have in a given document. Uh, so for instance, let's say we click this folder, it's going to show how many the documents that are inside this folder. And if we click the document 
within the file uh, pane, we can actually see it lower here um, in the actual implementation of the file. And we can switch between the files right here by using this menu and just boom, selecting hello world and we're right back to where we were. So this is just a brief example and we'll talk about more Xcode little handy tips uh, along the way. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care.